alchemy. What is it? Historically, ancient alchemists have used a very long, slow, deliberately delicate process to convert base metals such as lead into gold. Uh, for those of you familiar with the Harry Potter series, in the first one, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, which is also known as Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, Nicholas Flamel created the Philosopher's Stone in order to delay death in humans by making humans younger. This was known as the Elixir of Life. Um, in modern times, when we talk about alchemy, we're not talking about uh, extending life, so to speak, or, or making gold. What we are talking about is, is a philosophical idea in which we're able to accelerate our soul's development or evolution by removing impurities from our character. Um, we use the same seven steps described in ancient alchemy, however, we apply these steps to our thoughts rather than to metals like lead. Uh, so what are the seven phases of alchemy? The first one is calcination. Calcination can best be described as those moments when shit hits the fan. Uh, when something bad happens that uproots how you thought life was going to go, such as like a, a death of a friend, a family member, a loss of a job, a car accident, something like that, guess what? You just started an alchemical process. Uh, calcination is a wake-up call to progression, like seeing repeating numbers like 1111, 111, 222, so on and so forth. We're going to get that into that in a different video, though. Um, calcination is, a, is meant to act as a catalyst for change because something or some things in your life just plain aren't working anymore. Uh, so once once that, that event happens, we, we have begun the alchemical process and we move on to the next step, which is dissolution. This is when life as we know it begins to really dissolve around us, or we become disillusioned and adjust to the new reality. Uh, energetic impurities begin to become more apparent in the form of our emotions, so we start to, to purge. We start to get sad, we start to get angry, uh, all, the, all the emotions start to bubble up. At first, we can't shake the feelings of uh, this anger, this sadness, or grief, so on and so forth. So at this point, you're not going to figure things out, uh, but you're going to feel like things are falling apart. From here, you have the choice, which is something that's referred to in the hero's journey, which again will be another video, is the uh, acceptance or the refusal of the call. You have the choice to either numb yourself and the feelings using drugs, alcohol, sex, various vices, food, cigarettes, anything. You have the choice to numb the emotions and bury the feelings, or you can begin the clearing process. Um, if and when you do choose to face the music, you have your emotional purge, it, and that could take anywhere from a day to a couple weeks, months, years, it's all at your pace, but you have that purge and you move on. This brings us to the third step of alchemy, which is separation. This is where we begin to get clear with, our, uh, with ourselves. We, we start to figure out what it is that we need to let go of, what isn't working for us anymore. Uh, do we need to quit drinking? Do we need to find a new career? Do we need to find a new romantic partner? Maybe we just need to adopt a new perspective on something. Maybe we don't need to cut it out. We just need to purify it. Um, have a different, different take on it, so to speak. Um, maybe we shouldn't be friends with our coworkers on social media if the things that we post on there aren't things that they think that they uh, that that you think that they wouldn't want to see or that they would make fun of you for. Uh, maybe it would just help you prevent from from burning out at work. Uh, again, just different perspectives. You don't need to quit your job necessarily. You just need to maybe not share so much about your personal life at work. Keep work at work, keep home at home. Uh, this stage involves a lot of discernment and introspection. It's really personal. It's subject to the situation that you're going through in your own personal life. Only you are going to know what's going to, to get you through this stage. And one thing that I've personally found that helps with that is meditation. Uh, meditation really helps to, to slow down the mind and all the egoic processes that are happening and really allow you to tap into what it is that you need to do. And if you're not sure, it helps to clear that rubble out, clear out the filter, so to speak, and, and allow the thoughts to come in that you do need to address. Um, so the, the meditation can help you stay in balance and help you not stray from the path so you can gain what, what it is that you need to continue, be it necessary wisdom or just a better understanding of the knowledge that you're being presented. Th this is the stage when you start to get clear. Um, once you've clarified what does and does not work, where you're going to go next, uh, you, you bring the essential pieces back together in stage four, which is conjunction. Um, <clears throat> Uh, from, from here, pieces of your higher self start to emerge and you start to gain confidence in your elevated state. Uh, this is where what's known as uh, what's known in the weight loss or fitness community as plateauing can occur. 
uh, we, we think that the process is done because we've learned a lesson and we, we think that that's it. But we haven't actually taken action to apply the lesson in our lives yet. At, at this point, it, again, it's possible to regress. And if you regress, you're going to have to restart the whole process again and start from square one again. Hopefully nothing worse happens in the calcination stage this time. But if, again, as they say, the lessons will repeat until the lesson is learned. In this case, the lessons will repeat until the lesson is learned and you can't go further until you apply the lessons. Um, you're just gonna keep, you gotta have the, the drive within, the, the personal drive to keep going like those old Energizer Bunny commercials where he keeps hitting the drum, boom, 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 keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. This is where you need to have that strength to go through. Again, with the weight loss community, this is where people will slip back into old habits, go, oh, I lost 20 pounds or I'm not losing any more weight, so I guess it's not working anymore. Keep going, keep going keep going. This brings us to the next stage, stage five, fermentation. Uh, assuming that we are able to push through and carry on, we enter a slow maturation process where we have our new lessons put to the test. Um, will we get back to, with our abuse of X? Will we eat those donuts, drink those beers, smoke just the one cigarette? Uh, we have to come face to face with the demon and still, despite the fear of, the, of that demon, choose to say no, no more. Uh, you're choosing the light over the dark. And from experience, I can tell you that it's, it's not easy. It's rarely, rarely easy, um, but it must be done. It must be done in order to progress through what we call the dark night of the soul. This is typically when that dark night of the soul uh, happens. And again, we'll get more into Joseph Campbell's hero's journey in another video. We're just going over some topics right now. Um, so in stage six, distillation, this is the part where we are made to walk the walk. We, we face the final boss, so to speak, in the video game of the alchemical process. Uh, we have to confront any imbalances like inflated ego or a deeply, deeply programmed false identity about ourselves. Uh, the ego starts to really crack and you start to see the importance of the work that you're, being, that you're doing. Um, and, and from there, you need to, again, choose to stand firm in your resolve, not be swayed, and ultimately the soul will ascend the lesson. Um, this brings your baseline standards up higher. That is what ascension is. A lot of people think that ascension is going to be some sort of second coming of Jesus or aliens coming down and beaming us up. Ascension happens on a personal lesson, not on a global lesson. As we go through personal ascensions, we help raise the vibration of other people in order to, to help that global ascension happen. We're not at that point yet. We're still at the personal level. Um, so, again... When, when you choose to not be swayed and you choose to apply the lesson, that's when you ascend. Um, although the other things with the aliens coming down beaming us up would be pretty epic. Um, so from here we begin to love, accept, and integrate our shadow selves back in a non-judgmental way. The big thing is to be easy on yourself. Don't be judgmental during this time. Don't think that you're going to fail because if you think you're going to fail, you're setting yourself up for failure. Really just embody the confidence and the lessons that you're learning and step forward into your new self. Once you've done that, you enter the final stage of coagulate, or the final stage of alchemy, which is known as coagulation. Uh, coagulation is the solidification of our true self and the, uh, the graduated student. Um, this is the stage where the wound has basically been healed, and uh, you, you'll begin to feel more complete. This is not the end of growth, just the end of this particular alchemical process. There is no end to growth. There is no end. It's just a constant ladder of growing and growing and sharing love and your growth and your lessons with other people um, the process never ends like i said we just keep refining ourselves and getting closer to becoming our higher self eventually your higher self will no longer exist because that will be you as long as you follow these steps and keep going through this alchemical process with all sorts of different wounds from your past um, di different traumas triggers things as they come up or as they have come up we revisit the past so that we can clear it and make a better future um, inevitably once we reach a certain point in our growth, it becomes pretty inevitable for us to then want to turn around and serve others. This is where the true wisdom comes from because you're no longer learning the, you're still continuing to learn personal lessons, but you're focusing more on helping others get through this path. This is honestly what's brought me to this point right now of sharing the alchemical process with all of you. Um, so as you begin to serve others, you're using the lessons to help other people. And the goal or the dream, honestly, is that one day we will have a triggerless society where nobody will feel the need to, uh, to have triggers or to be as sensitive and tiptoe around certain issues because we'll all have, uh, have, have figured it out. And that, that's, what, that's what's talked about in prophecies as being the golden age. 
the golden age is really just uh, that. It's a sugarless society. It's where we all learn that love is the most important thing. And that, that is why what light workers such as myself and such as you here do what's called the great work. Um, so I hope that this breakdown of alchemy uh, it has helped you. I hope that it's uh, made you learn something new about maybe something that you're going through or something you've been through in the past. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe and hit the little bell in the corner just to, uh, to make sure that you hear everything I have to say in the future. Thank you very much. My name is Steve Forchetti. I'm looking forward to this journey with you. Um, just a couple of last minute thoughts. These books that are in the front here are two of my favorite books regarding this topic. This one here is called The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho. It's a very famous, popular book uh, in the spiritual community. It's, it's, a non, or it, it's a fiction book. It's a, it's a hero's journey, not exactly about alchemy itself. There are alchemical processes mentioned in it, but the book is about the alchemy of Santiago's soul as he goes from being just a basic sheep farmer into uh, becoming a world traveler and all the lessons that he learns in the way. And this book here is one of my personal favorites currently right now called The Game Changers, so Social Alchemists in the 21st Century by Dr. Teresa Bullard. It's a very quick read. Um, it, it, it goes into a lot more detail about what I've talked about here. It goes into the scientific aspects of alchemy um, and, and breaking down the, the processes of overcoming your thoughts, your negative thoughts, your negative ego. And it goes into some detail about how society is doing this collectively right now. Um, so check these books out. And again, please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you hear everything I have to say going forward. I hope you have a nice day. Thank you very much. Namaste.